Hey everyone, Nick here with Rogue Overland. Thanks for swinging by our channel and watching some of our review videos. We definitely appreciate your guys' viewing. For this video, we're going to review the new Rhino Rack compact 270 degree awning that we've had mounted on the uh, silver solid axle swap Xterra for the last year. This awning is a 79 inch um, and it goes up to a height of 91 inches. Um, it's made out of that ripstop polycotton canvas. Uh, it's, a, it's a right mount swing um, and it comes in at about 40 pounds uh, with a one year warranty. Based off of how much I've used it, I'm not overly concerned with the warranty. The product feels like it's pretty, pretty good quality. Um, with any product that you use off road, you are still gonna have to do some maintenance of your own. Maybe a double check on some of the hardware so that way it's not um, getting loose. Um, especially over some of those those washboard roads that you may be taking. It's worth it to give any product, uh, regardless of, of who's manufacturing it, to, uh, to give it a once over and give it a, as we like to call it, nut and bolt. It does come with a, uh, the, the, the guy ropes, it comes with stakes, it also comes with these mounting tabs that can be semi-universal, um, as long as you have the right system. Um, I know their website does say that it works with all Rhino Rack products and also uh, uh, Thule's. Um, but I'm sure you can, you can find another use for, for it depending upon the product that you've got. Um, and in my situation, I had to build my own uh, because uh, of, I've got a custom roof rack that, uh, that I made myself. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend having two people to mount it. Um, like I said, it is 40 pounds. Um, so you trying to muscle and, and move around 40 pounds up there uh, can be a little bit of a challenge. Um, but <clears throat> once it's up there, it's up there. Um, Whenever, if you want to move it to another vehicle, you might have to get some other brackets. And, and like I said, in my situation, I'm, I made uh, a set of brackets for, for one vehicle, but I do have a Duramax that I've mounted this on with another rack system, um, and it bolted right up. Overall, like I said, the product is, is good quality. Um, I, uh, I'm happy to have it on the vehicle, um, and I will continue to have it on the vehicle uh, uh, for, for my needs uh, based off of the, the trip that I'm doing. Um, as uh, we've kind of mentioned before, if any, if any of you guys have been following Rogue Overland for a while, our grassroots is kind of in the rock crawling four-wheel four drive off-road world. Um, so we all started somewhere, and, um, and I, I do like to take this thing out uh, crawling every now and again, and, and I'll uh, want to cut down on some of those, uh, that weight up there. A quick pros and cons list. You know, I don't, I don't know how much of a con is a con, really, when it comes to this, because yeah, it, it's 40 pounds, so you need two people, and I know sometimes it's hard to find that buddy to be able to help you, um, especially when you're trying to just get into something. Um, but, <clears throat> I mean, for, for what you're getting out of that 40 pounds, I think it's worth it, so it kind of offsets itself. I don't find it difficult to set up for myself. Uh, as I've shown you guys in the video, I did it myself. Um, I probably wouldn't do that in high wind situations. In most scenarios, I probably want to set it up myself. The, the, the chances that you could break the product um, increase by doing something like that because uh, it's nice to have that set up with the, uh, uh, the, <coughs> the poles dropping down as you kind of go and then click in that, that, that final strap. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, I would find this actually easier to set up than some of the, the just the, the straight one direction awnings because it, it swings open and then you kind of clip it in um, and then you can pull down each each uh, rod as it goes um, so and and it stays straight um, it gives you a, an opportunity to, to to put in those those guy ropes if you uh, really need them um, as well as still stake them down uh, driving down the highway, uh, I don't find the wind catching it. It's not making a lot of noise. I know sometimes you'll hear zippers flopping around, and uh, with the design on, on how this uh, this covering is, you don't hear the zippers because the, the zipper is in one spot, and it's secured back behind this PVC uh, rubber plastic. Uh, <clears throat> so it's um, it, it, it stays quiet. I appreciate that Rhino Rack went down to a, a, a compact design because uh, uh, the, the full-size designs are, are quite large at times. So overall, I would probably give this product, uh, I can't give anything a 10 out of 10, but I can give it a 9.5 out of 10 um, with, without any concern. I would recommend this to anybody um, and any one of my friends. Um, it's, a, it's a solid product. So if you guys want, you can probably head over to their website um, through uh, uh, rhinorack.com. Um, 
They'll have a whole bunch of more information on it. Uh, you, can, uh, you can buy the product directly through them um, and find out uh, how it will mount to your vehicle and what you may need uh, in addition to, to what the, the awning comes with. Uh, head over to our store. You guys can click the link down here. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of products available for sale um, on our website. We've got t-shirts, long sleeves, hoodies. Uh, we've got some pullovers. Um, we've got some, some glassware uh, and uh, some, some odds and ends, stickers and patches. So uh, head over to our web store, uh, check it out um, as well. Give us a follow on social media. You can find us at Rogue Overland uh, through Facebook, Instagram, uh, and YouTube. Uh, make sure you guys give this, this video a like um, and let us know what you guys think. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you guys out on the trail.